The following interview was conducted with Kathy Wodica for the Purdue University Oral History Project. It took place on August 4th, 2017 at the Indiana State Fair. The interviewer is Adriana Harmeyer. Kathy, could you tell me briefly where you are from and then what years you were at Purdue? I am from Lafayette, Indiana, and I was at Purdue from 1965 through 1968. And what did you study at Purdue? I studied in the two-year nursing technology program. I was there three years because I knew I wanted to get a degree in nursing, so I picked up some extra courses and stayed for three years. Plus, I loved Purdue and wanted, didn't want to leave. Mm -hmm. And you went into nursing professionally? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the first time you visited Purdue? Actually, the first time I visited Purdue, I was about seven or eight years old, and my parents took me to a Purdue football game that was band day. And what they used to do was fill the field with all high school bands, and then they let balloons go off, and it was really exciting. So that was my very first visit to Purdue. Mm -hmm. When you attended Purdue as a student, what places on campus did you like to spend your time? Well, I lived at home in Lafayette, so I spent my time in the Union for lunch every day. I joined a sorority, and so I spent time at the sorority house. Because I was a nursing student, we had our classes in the old National Guard Armory, so I spent a lot of time there. Went to the sweet shop, and we also went to the Purdue Creamery almost every day in the spring to get ice cream cones. Mm -hmm. What sorority did you join? I was in Alpha Chi Omega. And we were out on the Acre, which isn't real close to campus, so it's quite a, quite a hike to get out there, but it's beautiful out there in the country. Mm -hmm. Were there any particular places you went to study? I studied in the main library, which was in, we called it the Memorial Union at the time. I don't think it's there now, but the third floor of the main library was always quiet, and I studied there a lot. Mm -hmm. Did you have a job while you were a student? I did have a job, but not on campus. I worked for Dr. W. Kelly Carr, who's an orthodontist, who was an orthodontist at that time in Lafayette. And I worked for him through high school and through college. He was a great boss. He was a loyal Purdue, John Purdue club member. He was a loyal Purdue grad. And he always made sure that we got out of work early on Saturdays so we could get to the football games on time. Mm -hmm. Did other members of your family also attend Purdue? Gosh, I really don't want to get started on all of that. My older brother graduated for, from Purdue in double E. My younger brother-in-law graduated from Purdue in um, physics. And my younger brother-in-law graduated from Purdue in something to do with computers. Mm -hmm. And then I, don't, I, I have lots of aunts and uncles and cousins who went to Purdue. Have you visited campus recently? I usually get up there a couple times a year. I'm involved with the School of Nursing Advisory Council, so we have meetings a couple times a year. And my husband and I usually go up for a football game or two. What about Purdue has stayed the same over the years? A lot of what is the same is the loyalty that people feel about Purdue. When you walk around Indianapolis or Greenwood, Indiana, you see people with a Purdue switch, sweatshirt on and you say, go Boilers, and they will usually respond with go Boilers. So even out of town, the Purdue loyalty is still there. Mm -hmm. What has changed over the years about Purdue? What has changed? The campus is so much bigger. There are so many new buildings. And that's very exciting to see because I think the growth is wonderful. Our daughters graduated from Purdue in the early 2000s, and they, even though it was a very, very large school, they were able to find their own small group and small niche, and they were very happy there. Fantastic. Is there anything about Purdue that you think doesn't get the attention it deserves? Something we should talk about more? Mm, I can't think of anything. My brother worked, he left Purdue the day of graduation and moved to Maryland and he worked there all of his career and he said that when he had a Purdue um, calendar or something in his office, people would come in and they thought Purdue was an Ivy League school. So when you're outside of Indiana, Purdue has a really, really, really outstanding reputation. It's fantastic. 
Do you have any specific memories that come to mind when you think back about your time at Purdue? I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of good friends. I made a lot of good friends. The friend that I see every week, maybe twice a week, was one of my sorority sisters at Purdue. So we are still close to friends that I made at that time. That's fantastic. Do you have any advice for incoming Purdue students? My advice is to find a small group, either within your major or within some activity that you enjoy, and then stick with that group. Purdue is a very big place, but it can be made very small and very close if you find a group. Mm -hmm. Do you have any last comments, memories, thoughts you'd like to share? All I can say is boiler up and go boilers. Mm -hmm. well, thank you.